different DIYs for pumpkin puree. And I know every year I buy way too much pumpkin and I'm like, what do I do with all this? I can't just make 100 pies for Thanksgiving. So if you're like me and get way too excited for fall and you want to know what to do with your pumpkin cans other than making pumpkin pie, this video is for you. And also, you should hit that subscribe button, so go ahead and hit it because I want you to become a part of our family here on YouTube. I have a lot of really cool different videos that are like fashion and beauty and lifestyle, DIYs, you name it guys, there's a video for you. So please check out my channel and also make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy the video. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video and keep watching. Bye. So as always guys, make sure to check the description box below because I will have all the ingredients and measurements listed always for each recipe. But here what we're going to do is use our Vitamix. You can use a food processor and I put in lemon, olive oil, garbanzo beans and then mix that up. And because it was a little chunky, I added some of the garbanzo juice. Then you'll want to add in your pumpkin puree some paprika, salt and pepper. And if you guys want this to have a little bit more of a traditional taste, you can add a little bit of tahini. And then you'll just wanna serve this one with some pita chips or veggies. And this one has a very addictive taste. At first I tried it and I was like, hmm, this is interesting. But then I couldn't stop having first, seconds, thirds and fourths. So guys, check this recipe out and make sure to comment if you tried it. So for these pumpkin muffins or cupcakes, depending on how how you make them all you need is spice cake and pumpkin puree it's that simple so you can do a dance break in between okay enough of that you guys just add your pumpkin puree and then your spice cake mix that up with a food blender and then all I did was scoop this out into cute little muffin tins I got those ones at Walmart and I am just setting this up and then something that you can do as a trick is use an ice cream scooper to place all of your muffin mixture in. It will be very thick and sticky and however you put it in is the way it'll come out and mine became these alien bulbous looking pumpkin shaped ones. So I put a little bit of this frosting and yes this recipe is vegan. Next to make this pumpkin face mask, all you need is some pumpkin puree, some honey, and some vitamin E oil. But what I did was I used pumpkin puree, added my honey, and if you don't want to use honey, you can use lemon. And if you don't have vitamin E oil, you can use apple cider vinegar. Regardless, this face mask really is so helpful with acne and acne scars, and I love it. It just feels so good on my skin, and I like to eat my pumpkin muffins in between. Next to make this pumpkin scrub all you need is some pumpkin puree some raw cane sugar mixed with brown sugar some coconut oil pumpkin spice and then a little bit of vanilla extract and all you want to do is literally mix everything in a jar that is airtight and remember all of these ingredients are fresh and natural so you can use them anywhere on your body but you have to remember this does have a shelf life just like a lush body scrub just Make sure to put it in an airtight container and use it and enjoy. And I love this stuff because it does help with dead skin and your skin will feel very soft after. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.